Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the Topper Chef channel. And today I'm gonna make T-bone steak with a fantastic mushroom sauce. Okay guys, so this is our T-bone steak. If you're in Texas, you have to eat a T-bone and steak. But this steak, I always find it is so thick that while you're eating it, your mouth becomes very dry. So um, Texans really don't eat anything no sauce or nothing but i'm trying to make a sauce which will not make this very dry so first of all we got to marinate this very well with pepper so that uh, the pepper and the salt has to soak into this you know almost two inch thick steak okay so put this salt and be liberal with the salt because it's gonna soak inside the steak. So just press it down, rub it in. Just cuts and grooves. And now do the same thing the other side also. So now we have Pepper, you know, pepper. I take my salt. Rub in all my salt properly. Okay, now keep this for at least half an hour so the salt will marry into the, the steak really well. Okay, Topper Chef back again here, and we're gonna cook our T-bone steak now. So the steak has been marinating for about 30 minutes, and our pan is nice and hot. Here you go, just slide all this oil everywhere. Now, even if there is oil left over, because we are using the drippings to make a good, nice sauce. So you want to cook the steak very well. Cooker there on a high heat. Okay, so now it's about three minutes on that side, so it's nice and brown because of the pepper and all that. So now we're gonna flip it, look, it's brown, and now another three minutes on this side. Then we're gonna flip it. Overall, it has to cook at least for eight minutes because look, it's still raw. So We'll cover it, keep it brown on this side now for another three minutes. Okay, so now it's three minutes on the other side also. So what I do now is lower the flame a little bit, medium, and flip it again and slow cook the meat. Okay, so here we go. You can see it's getting smoky. And look at this, it's still raw, it's still thin, okay? I'll show you how it is later on, how it looks. Okay, so now, oh, nice and brown, right? So this is how it's supposed to be. Now we lower the flame and let it cook like that, without a cover on a low heat. So all the juices and everything get cooked all the way through. Especially this side is very important because this side is more thicker. This is a little thinner on this side. Okay, so now let it cook for at least three, three minutes on each side so it will be well done. Okay, so now I'm gonna make this, there is this, this is called drippings from the steak. So we're gonna use all these drippings to make this fantastic sauce. Because there's a lot of nutrients in this thing, okay? So now we start with the sauce. What I'm gonna do is Put some little onion paste. Now this is our rule. I haven't taken chopped onion. The reason I don't like to take chopped onion because then it still leaves a lot of, uh, you know, you can still feel the onion in the sauce. So we wanna make a nice smooth sauce. So to this I'm gonna add my garlic. 
Oh, the flavor of garlic. Okay. And ginger. Saute this a bit. Mmm, smell of the taste of it. Oh. Okay, to this I'm gonna add my Nihari powder. This nutty flavor to this sauce will be so good. Such a different kind of sauce, okay? Now to this. I'm gonna deglaze it with a little butter. There you go. So when my powder is cooking, okay. okay, so now we want all this to cook very well. So I'm gonna deglaze this now further with some, you can also put some red wine but I'm gonna use beef stock okay there you go beef, beef stock let this reduce very well let everything get immersed in this sauce there you are let it cook for at least one or two minutes Okay, so now we got it little deglazed. All the juices are there. I'm gonna add some rosemary and salt to this. And just stir it. And this is where I'm gonna put my mushrooms and saute the mushrooms really well on high heat. So we cook the mushrooms. Now this is our fantastic mushroom sauce. And lots of mushrooms. Add a little more butter in it. There you are. Smooth this around. Okay, so now the mushrooms are cooked well. So it's about two minutes. Saute the mushrooms. Now these are Bella mushrooms. It won't reach, uh, leave a lot of water. To this, I'm gonna add some cream and cook it and thicken the sauce really well so that it will go on a steak well. We don't want a very runny sauce. We want a sauce which will be good accompaniment for the for the steak. Plus, it, it will not overpower the steak. And that's what is required of this now. Slowly, always when you add cream, you don't want to cook it fast. Let it thicken by itself. And so that's what we're gonna do. Cook it for at least three, four minutes till it gets thickened. Okay, so now, oh my God, look at this sauce. It's nice and thick and it will go good, nice for the steak. And this is, our fantastic mushroom sauce, something different from peppercorn or something like that. Now, just make some nice parsley in it. And voila, here's our mushroom sauce with our T-bone steak. Just turn this off and pour it over the steak and eat it, enjoy. Okay guys, so now we're gonna taste our T-bone steak with this fantastic mushroom sauce. I'm calling this fantastic because I know it is really fantastic. So, don't think I'm gonna eat all of this. We're gonna share about four or five people. Okay, so let me taste this. Oh my God, the steak is really, the steak is really tender and nice and the sauce really complements the whole preparation with the steak. Now, if you like this recipe, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Topper Chef channel. Happy cooking!